What is going on YouTube? This is AntCap24 and today we're doing another play out of the Gun Trio Bronco Formation Scheme in which we're going to be doing all week long. If you didn't see yesterday's video, we did a cover two bomb over the top with a middle linebacker in a deep blue for a nice easy one play score against um, your meta defenses that show all the blitzes. Great video, go ahead and check that out. Today we're looking at a base play that we'd like to use for this formation called PA Shot Wheel, in which you can run against all coverages and have some great success. So let's go take a look at it. So we really like this as a base play because of the ability to have a nice, quick, easy read. It beats all coverages, and it's only got one hot route, so you can kind of walk to the um, line of scrimmage and be able to do this right away. There's no motion on it, so it is a quick hike opportunity for you. So all you're going to do is put this A on a slant, okay? And what that's going to do, it's going to go ahead and kill your cloud flats. I got cover two over here. It doesn't matter if it's cover two cloud flats, cover three cloud flats, cover four cloud flats. It doesn't matter if they do underneath and over the top coverage to try to cancel it out. They will man activate it on the left hand side of the screen to where this A will be open every single time on the sideline. So watch how it works. We're going to be able to see this A is going to go across the screen and you're going to be able to throw it to him for the nice easy catch. You're talking roughly about 15 yards each time. Let's go take a look at instrument replay to show you why it works. So the reason why this play is so successful is the route combination on the left side of the screen. You're going to see that we can man activate the cloud coverage to basically take the wheel down the field. doesn't matter if it's cover two, cover three, or cover four. If they're in cloud coverage, they're going to take this number 11 here, Julio, down the field. So this cornerback on the outside is in cloud coverage. You're going to see as soon as he turns his back, you know that he's going to follow him down the field. And you're going to have a nice easy throw underneath to that tight end on the sidelines. Now, it is something that um, if you have a fast tight end, it might be a little bit harder when it comes to um, timing this. So sometimes a slower tight end or just an average tight end is better because you're gonna be able to throw this to him on the sidelines and catch it. Now, if you have a fast tight end, he will just stay there on the sidelines and sit there waiting for you to throw it and then you kind of turn it up field. But if you want the correct timing of this, you, um, you might wanna use your second tight end on this, maybe even a blocking tight end to be able to get underneath and have the timing of this for you to your advantage. So now let's go ahead and look at cover three and show you how the cloud flats will cover that same player the same exact way. It's not the outside corner that's doing it, it's actually the inside corner this time, but it's gonna have the same exact results. So we'll go ahead and put this A on a slant and we'll hike the ball, go ahead and watch that A go to the outside. The guy will turn his back and we're gonna be able to throw it to him on the sidelines for the nice easy 15 yard gain. This also works against cover four, so we'll get cover four up there as well. And we just make sure that they're in cloud flats. It's going to work just the same every single time um, the way it's going to attack cloud flats. So here we go. We'll watch the A go underneath. The guy is going to turn his back. You're going to be able to throw it to him. It gets some nice easy yards. So once you've torched your opponent a couple times, they're going to have to adjust their defense accordingly in order to stop this play. And typically speaking, most people are going to go and try hard flat coverage um, because of the adjustment of having to get out of cloud flats. So what you'll see here is our focus is going to change to the B receiver as far as beating this. It's really nice for scheming because if people are going to have to go to hard flats, we're going to have a lot of other plays in this um, scheme that you're going to be able to torch them on hard flats. But for this particular play, we're going to go look at the B receiver. So we've got cover two all queued up. And what you're going to look for when you run this, no matter what, is does anybody bite down on the B's outward uh, part of his portion of the uh, route? If it looks like that flat there, if they jump on that flat, you know that it's going to be um, hard flats and you're just waiting for him to cut up the field. If you notice that this route is a really nice route because it cuts to the outside and gets towards the sidelines, so it doesn't go up the field. That's really going to help you with this. Let's go ahead and look at it. Against cover two here, you're going to see that the B is going to go down. We're just going to throw it to him on the sidelines for the nice easy catch along the sides. Now let's look at cover three and we'll get cover three hard flats out there. And what you'll see here with cover three is the same exact thing. You're waiting for somebody to jump that B. So you're looking at that player. You see how it goes down to the B. Now you're going to wait for him to go across there and you're going to be able to throw it to him on the sidelines just the same. So now let's look at cover four. And cover four is actually the best way to stop this, not if they're base aligned. If they're base aligned and they got hard flats, it's going to work just the same, right? What we're going to do is we're going to wait for that guy to go up the field, and you're going to see that you're going to have that same ability to throw it to the outside and catch that ball, okay? Now, if they're in base aligned pressed, what happens on that is because of the fact that the outside player is actually... Um, 
going just for the outside fourth of the field, he's going to break on the ball a little bit quicker because he doesn't get sucked in as much, right? So if they do this, you're going to see that it's going to be a nice, um, it's going to be a better adjustment for them because it's going to be a tighter squeeze. I'm going to show you what we're going to go to against that in um, after this example because I want to show you how to throw it to the B here first. You're going to see that the B is going to get up the field and you can see how this guy is going to kind of be much tighter of a window, right? It can work, but it's going to be tighter. If they continue to go to that, what you're going to see is your best bet is actually to wait for um, the S route to develop. So let's go make sure I got these guys here. And here we go with the A on the outside. And you'll see that this X route here, if you see that it's tight, you're just going to wait for that guy to come across. And you're going to be able to throw it to him really, really easily in that spot. So it doesn't matter if they're playing cloud flats or hard flats. You have an answer for everything when you run this to the short side of the field. And it's a really tough um, play for a user to make because we've got this Y coming across. The Y is really one of those routes that um, when people see it, the first thing they think of is he's running some type of PA crossers play, something that I've got to cover to the right side of the field. If they try to jump anything to the left, you're really going to have that ability to kind of burn them in the middle if they don't play their assignment in the middle of the field, which most people are using your middle linebacker and kind of roaming the middle. So that's why I really like this play as a base play, because as long as you make your reads, you're really going to have a great success of being able to um, really torture your opponent, no matter if you're doing cloud flats or hard flats. And it really can make you depict what you want um, them in uh, by continuing to run this play. Again, guys, we appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoyed this content and you like this play, hit that like button for us. We do appreciate that. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for the next play in this scheme, and we'll see you then. Thanks a lot, guys.